Well, at the moment, the rescue uh, efforts are still going on, and uh, fire officials are saying they have no idea how many are trapped inside, probably hundreds. And they've said they have recovered so far 80 dead bodies, all the local media are reporting many more than that. But uh, fire officials believe the figure, death figure, eventual death figures will rise. And uh, they think that they have the equipment to uh, carry out the rescue efforts, but they don't think they'll finish until tomorrow morning. And Sabir, what are eyewitnesses saying about the state of the building? Well, basically, the story is that uh, this building developed several cracks overnight, and these were reported to the authorities, and some officials of the local administration did come to have a look. But And uh, the latest uh, information we have is that police actually advised, industrial police actually advised that building to be shut down. But this morning, the garments factory owners came in and decided the cracks were not dangerous and they wanted their workers to go back into the building. The building owner himself was inside when the, the cracks just exploded and uh, the building collapsed. And so a lot of workers are blaming uh, the owners of the factories as well as the owner of the building because they ignored what was evidently a dangerous sign. How was it though that the owners got to make that decision? Why couldn't the authorities simply say, look, it's dangerous, your workers aren't going in? Well, at the time, I don't think there were any officials present. And uh, also in Bangladesh, uh, the garments industry is a bit of a holy cow. And, uh, you know, there are regulations for everything in Bangladesh, building code, uh, fire safety, everything. But enforcement of this regulation is very poor at the best of times. When it comes to the garments industry, it's practically non-existent, unless the garments factory owner themselves implement those. But we had that incredible fire at the Tazreen garment yeah. factory back in November. Many, many killed, over 100 people killed. Yeah. It was such a tragedy that day, and the calls were so strong for there yeah. to be changed. Have things improved since then, I mean, despite today's tragedy? No, the government set up a task force headed by a senior government um, home minister official to visit various factories. And they have visited many, many factories, but they have not uh, taken action against any of them. No fines, no imprisonment, no prosecution, no closures. Just advice on how to improve their safety. And the head of that committee has told the BBC Bengali service that he believes 50% of the government's factories are built on operating on inside unsafe buildings and he puts it down to greed of the factory owners. That is a staggering figure you've just Absolutely. raised, 50%. But Sabir, give us a sense, if you're a worker in one of these factories, you have little choice, don't you? You have little choice and also, you see, one of the reasons why it's a holy cow is that this garments industry employs millions of women and these women would have, wouldn't have had the kind of income, the kind of freedom they enjoy today if it wasn't for the garments industry which grew from the early 80s. But the, uh, the other, on the other side, the owners have exploited uh, this uh, industry it's the biggest uh, export earner of Bangladesh, but the government is almost scared to enforce regulations about safety when, it, when the garments industry is concerned.